Ram Jetpalani joins the news our debate tonight. And they agree on different issues, but I know that on this issue they have divergent points of view. My first question tonight is to Subramaniam Swami. Mr. Swami, on the 3rd of November you described the denial of bail to Kanimori and seven others by the trial court as a correct decision since they had committed, in your view, a crime against the nation. This is exactly what you said. You were in fact pushing the line that jail is an exception. And Kani and others could influence witnesses. The Supreme Court and subsequently the High Court have found no merit of this argument. Isn't this a massive blow to you personally and to your line of argument in this case? No, it's not a massive blow at all. It's no blow at all. After all, uh, they have not acquitted uh, uh, Kani Mori or any of them. What they have said is that they can be set at large. And that is ultimately a question of judgment. It was my judgment that these people will come, they will have an impact on the witnesses who, are to, uh, who have to take the stand and uh, depose against them. Some of them are employees. If the court uh, has come to a conclusion, ultimately, uh, how can I say that the court is, uh, uh, is not entitled to decide on no, this no, But issue? your argument has They been, are the best judge. Your ultimately, argument. they have to decide. Your argument was these are not ordinary people. You said these are billionaires I agree. with all I, kinds I still, of international I, I connections. Still, I would say, certainly, I am, I am a person who, if, if I was the judge, I would not have given them bail. But then that doesn't mean that my, my will, uh, judges in, in, a, in a single court itself, they differ. Sometimes the High Court says something, the Supreme Court says something else. There are differences. But I wouldn't go to take it to this point where I would consider this is a blow. It's not a blow at all. It's a, all that has happened is that Ms. Kandimori, instead of living in jail, would be now you're trying under to underplay a supervised... It, sir. A supervised uh, so you're trying to underplay it now? Huh? Because, the, because the court There's has... There's no question to underplay, underplay. Uh, What did I say? I'm sorry, you see, you may want, uh, you want, may, may want me and uh, Jait Malani to have a clash. I am th thankful to Jait Malani. He began by making out. This is not a question of, uh, uh, of a duel. There is no question. I had only taken a stand that bail is not compulsory once the charge sheet is filed. It is a no. still a discretion of the judges. No, it was and not. That sure, stand I, I agree took. with you. But you also said, okay, let, I, but you also said, and on that point, and, and let me tell you, I, I am absolutely not keen to, to try and bring out a clash of ideas between two eminent people where there exists none. Yeah, you don't want to I would fight. like to caveat that. Mr. Jait and Mr. Swami, I don't think I can create a clash where there is none. But I believe and I strongly believe that if I see the pattern of your arguments, Mr. Jait Malani cannot agree with it. Mr. Jait Malani, here is what Subramaniam Swami said. Subramaniam Swami said when they are released, an atmosphere will be created by their going out. There will be celebrations, rallies will be held. And therefore, the wiser thing is to keep them in jail at least till the witness deposition <coughs> is over. This is what Mr. Subramaniam Swami said. Do you agree with that? Now listen, we are all administering what is called the adversarial system of administration of criminal justice. The theory of this adversarial system is that two persons ranged on opposite sides make the most unfair arguments and the fairest chance of these unfair arguments on both sides is that ultimately the judge can arrive at the truth. Now, Mr. Mr. Swami was absolutely justified in making that argument. On the other hand, Kani Mori's lawyers were also entitled to make that argument. Now, the, the highest court of the country has laid down the law. And according to me, the law that they have laid down is that we in this country do start with a presumption of innocence and that presumption of innocence is destroyed only when a person is convicted by the last court and why should a person who has a chance of being acquitted suffer punishment before he is actually found guilty precisely this is the theory precisely now but the Sup supreme court has laid that wholesome principle now according to me it was laid long long ago and the courts were ignoring it. On the other hand, let me say this, that some people have a very, very honest uh, judgment about it, that influential people, when released on bail, may, may well influence witnesses and try to corrupt the judicial process. On the other hand, the law is that you cannot go 
by mere suspicion of what a person will do. Mr. Jet Palani. There should be some reasonable, credible evidence of a propensity to interfere. Mr. Jet Palani. Yes. Now the courts have. Now the courts have found that no such propensity exists in this case. Uh, let me ask so you no, pointedly. Then, uh, we all submit. Mr. Mr. Jet Palani. Uh, you, I want to ask you pointedly. Hmm. I want to ask you very pointedly, Mr. Jet Palani. The fact is that your point has been held in court and today you are trying to keep an extremely, would I say, sir, it can be construed as a generous disposition or it can be construed as a, as, as a very all-accommodating disposition. Mr. Jet Palani, you did not have such an all-accommodating disposition on this case earlier. Hence, I want to ask you pointedly. Mr. Subramaniam Swami's basic about? contention you, was this. Have you, have you ever seen me... Have you ever seen me op opposing anybody's bail? I appeared for Karim Bozi in the trial court and argued the question of her bail. Uh, my According question to, to you me, is... He was the person most Mr. entitled Palani. to bail. Mr. Jet Palani, but please right. take a position and I tonight. I don't think Mr. Swami will quarrel with me. No, no, I know that both of you... know. Tonight it appears Subramanian Swami and Ram Jet Palani have called a truce, which is very interesting, but I want you to take a position. <laughs> I want you to take a position tonight. Now because position not, is this. We have, we have not called a truce... We have not called a truce. We have made permanent peace. Thank okay. you very much. It's, it's very convenient. But here's the question tonight. Do you believe that Subramaniam Most Swami was right or wrong? One disappointed. minute. disappointed. One minute. No, no, no. Question. I, I have to get a direct answer from Mr. Jet Palani tonight. Do you believe, Mr. Jet Palani, that Subramaniam Swami was right or wrong? And there is no gray area possible. When he strongly argued that Kanimori could tamper with evidence... Was this argument persuasive or unpersuasive in your view? And can you please now listen, take a position on that? Listen, yes. I do, I do, but I will take a position. I am not afraid of taking a position. Mr. Swami was justified in expressing his apprehension, and perhaps his apprehension was well founded, but the law is slightly different. The law is that there must be some credible evidence in the conduct of the prisoner that he has that propensity already and which propensity would make it a reasonable probability that he will in future interfere with his misuse of liberty. Now, that's the slight difference between Mr. Swami's argument no, so here, and so the in this case, in this in case, technical law for that argument. So in this case, the gap between the time the 2G licenses were issued and the probe was initiative would have given enough time for all the accused to destroy whatever they wanted to. This has also been one of your arguments. Ah. Yes, one second. They are getting specific. Oh. Therefore, tonight, you would agree with me. Not mine. Yes. Not mine. <laughs> and listen, now listen, all the time, you, you are overstepping the limits of an anchor. The anchor's duty is to hear both sides <laughs> and convey them to, the, to your viewers. <laughs> and, and not to take up a position. I'm not. I'm only asking Please you. Please don't do this. Okay, here's I'm asking you tonight. Here uh -huh. I'm asking you tonight. Your argument was, Mr. Subramaniam Swami, that Kadimori's contention, that this was a contention, she could tamper with everything. Do you still hold that view? Or do you today believe that, you know, overall maybe you stretch the argument a bit in her case? Mr. Swami, did you stretch the argument in the case of oh, Ms. Kanimori? No, no. You see, first of all, let me say that the trial court judge and I had the same view. Now, the high court has taken a different view. Now, in the judicial system, in our democracy, we have, uh, as Jetmani correctly pointed out, we have adversarial position. This was my position. I do believe that these people will play a role. But then, then if, they, if I catch them doing it, we can always move for cancellation of their bail. But uh, the ju correct. judges Absolutely. in their wisdom said that this is something which can be taken uh, uh, into... Uh, they took it into account and decided that enlarging them in bail is not going to uh, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, jeopardize the judicial, uh, uh, judicial system or the, uh, the uh, process of the trial. Many people have so commented the, the, about... The, when the judges have decided, yes. well, what do you expect me to say? No, no. Did I, do I still hold that position? No, of course we, I hold we that must, position. We must, but then we must there is look a at the argument itself. 
Once the judge has decided, that's the end of the matter. The, the argument itself, tonight, I must say this, tonight, Ram Jetmalani and Subramaniam Swami have agreed tonight not to clash on this particular issue. But, but I know the strong points of view. <laughs> Gentlemen, it's very clear tonight. You sound very disappointed. <laughs> I'm not disappointed in the least. Oh my but, God. I, but I must say this, that however, I would, I would, I would ask you, Subramaniam Swami, the 2G case is one that has evoked a strong yes. reaction from the public. I'm sure you agree with me on that. Yes. But the Supreme Court has yes. said, quote, the right to bail cannot be denied merely because the sentiment of the community is against the accused. Was there a lynch mob I mentality agree. in this case? A lynch mob mentality in this case? No, the country, listen, the country is not a question of lynch mob. Nobody has gone and tried to lynch them. The fact is that the country is fed up seeing that the judicial system is manipulated, particularly by rich people. They never seem to suffer anything at all. In fact, when this whole 2G, why is this 2G spectrum case has excited the people so much? Because for the first time they are seeing people at the level of ministers being going to jail, whether it was for custodial purposes or whatever, but they did go to jail. Now they were hoping that this, this process will continue. They, they, the general public does not know the fine points of law. They think that these people are guilty. They have already made up their minds that they are guilty. And they want them to see them inside. You so there is disappointment in the public. If there was a vote today, whether Kanyamori should get bail or not, I will say 90% would say she should not get bail. But the fact is that the ultimately judges are there to, to, to see that they are not railroaded by public sentiment. Mr. And I think Palani. Justice Singhvi is one of the finest judges we have. Yes. And he has very clearly said, I can't be railroaded by the public. So you, was there an attempt to do that? Was there an attempt to do that? To take the popular sentiment and use that as an argument? Was there an attempt to do that? So that, so that you know, you, you take the public sentiment and you unfairly target individuals there. That had been also the, that, that was my question on the issue of the lynch mob argument. No, no, there's no, there's no question of uh, using public sentiment in this at all. I'm only saying that when the public is reacting this way, that doesn't mean the judges have to listen. In fact, it is to attribute to the judges that they have withstood what is highly popular. They are not obviously clearly, therefore, playing to the galleries. These judges are, have proved their bona fides in, uh, in whatever they have decided. I don't like their judgment, but so what? In, 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 a, in, in a matters of court, uh, somebody is going to not get his point of view uh, upheld. But other points of view of mine have been upheld throughout. The trial court upheld the view that I, I held. It's in the High Court, it has been changed. This is our system. It's better than what is happening in Pakistan. So the issue is settled here then, in that case. Mr. Jait Malani, Mr. Subramaniam Swami says that the yes. trial court, that the trial court has upheld my views in this matter. And the trial court very clearly said, I think the trial court said that the facts and circumstances of this case itle itself suggest that the witnesses would be under a lot of pressure given the serious consequences of the case for the parties. He did say that. He is right, absolutely, in making that argument. But that argument is slightly, slightly wrong. As a lawyer, I can tell you that. And I don't know, uh, this is not intended to, uh, to draw any, any, any battle line with my friend Swami. I, I, I want to tell you another thing which Swami will like. That if Raja is guilty and he should be in jail, according to me, on the principle of collective responsibility, the whole cabinet should be in jail. You nicely avoided the question. Well, I am an expert at that. Yes, I can see. Mr. Jetmalani, <laughs> you are avoiding a lot of questions tonight. It's just an observation. Uh, well, but, 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 but the judge Saini of the trial court said <laughs> that this is further compounded by the fact uh, that the witnesses are employees, relatives, family members, colleagues and subordinates of the accused persons. This was the argument. I am just completing what the do, trial court said. Now, let me tell you one thing. Yes, sir. I had made a statement in the Supreme Court. The same argument was made against my client, Mr. Chandra. And I told the court, and in writing, I told them that whatever my, uh, my employees have said to the CBI in the course of their interrogation is all true, and I don't dispute a word of it. Mr. Jetmalani, does influence matter? Let me put it to you very simply. Does influence matter? Does influence matter? What? Does influence matter? 
Oh my God, in, in, influence does matter. It's, I mean, no fool can avoid it. Uh, but, but only tell me, good influence is good. But in this case, you know the other kind of influence. You know, you're, you're, you're one of your most celebrated clients. No, 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 I am telling you that no, nobody has been influenced in this case. The bail has not been obtained if you are insinuating as a result of any influence. No, 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 I am saying, the, is, is this whole argument now settled? Because we are looking at this case in terms of precedent. The argument, this whole debate has been going on, bail the or no bail. Today the, the position the look, Supreme Court the has taken, in your view, in your view, has it settled this whole look, debate? According to me, now listen, please understand that now. Uh, according to me, the law of bail was settled long ago. It was settled in the 78 and, and 1980. There are some subsequent judgments which have ignored the previous binding rulings. They are all bad judgments and per incurium, as the lawyer says. I am very happy that the Supreme Court has put the law in its proper perspective and that is law which is consistent with our constitution. Absolutely. Well, I just want to make it very clear. When I refer to influence out there, we did refer to the influence in the manner in which Mrs. Subramaniam Swami had referred to it earlier in terms of powerful people accused in the case wielding influence over witnesses in this particular case. Well, he, he is not wrong. I mean, put it, please understand. He is not wrong in saying that influential people can can sometimes do that to witnesses. But the law is that you must have displayed that tendency. And in this case there was none. So Subramaniam Swami, there was, you have not displayed that tendency to influence witnesses. And hence that was a basic flaw in your argument. Well, I, I don't know whether it's a flaw in my argument because after all the judicious mind of a trial court judge also had the same view. <laughs> And that was also the view of the High Court and the Supreme Court earlier when these people came. This is not the first time they are coming for bail. They, enough, they right? feel that the circumstances have changed. And Fair therefore, enough, enough. Uh, you know, they can take the risk of sending them and enlarging them at bail. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, let me, let me put one, one fact at the very Fair end. Enough. Yes, Mr. Jetwaladi. I think you, you, you have always a desire to score at one of the debaters and, and to display your intellectual superiority. <laughs> I acknowledge Mr. your Jetmal intellectual superiority. Uh, Mr. Please stop doing it to me for God's sake. Mr. Jetmalani, okay. let me just say this, that whether in a nuanced or a direct way, you know, today you are in a very large-hearted frame of mind, you have, you, have, you have won the case and you have a right to feel so. The only thing I would like to reiterate at the very end is we all respect the courts. The courts have gone but, through. But listen, and, yes, please... Please take it as a Listen. genuine expression of my real mind that I am an admirer today of what Subramanian Swami is doing. I, 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 I make no mistake and, and about furthermore, it. furthermore, yes, absolutely. And furthermore, to, in fairness to Mr. Jait Malani, it's not a question of who's winning, who's losing. It's whether the, the system of justice is winning. Here is a case where uh, the, the Supreme Court lays down the law despite the prevailing atmosphere in the country, yeah. despite the fact True. that in past, the no. same Supreme Court took a very hard line the on system, the question of bail. When they asked the CBI, the uh, uh, what law, stand are you taking at the, the, at the trial court? Absolutely. Well, we, we do respect... The system of law yes. should be... Listen, enough. the system of law should be ultimately decided by the Supreme Court of India and not by a television channel. Yes, absolutely. Right. There is no attempt. And, and right. I, we do respect what the, what the courts have said today. We respect the judgment and the judgment in its full merit will be implemented. And we also respect the fact that both of you, especially Mr. Swami, acknowledges the fact that the judgment takes into account all the factors and is still seen to be fair. Subramaniam Swami and Ram Jait Malani. Thank you very much for joining me both on the NewsR debate tonight. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.